Whoa, greetings. Greetings, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm kind of undoing the live stream tonight. Yeah, that's a lot better. There, now it's perfect. Okay, bye. See you guys later. Okay. Um, yeah, let's see. Uh, I was going to do... I got a message about the future. So, it might be a conscious. I think I only have energy for a conscious connection. But uh, also... Uh, we're going to Mar Martian manipulations. And that one just showed itself. Reared its ugly head here. So, um, yeah, so I guess we'll call this Martian future or something. Anyway. <sighs> yeah, they're obviously here. I believe you're in David Wilcock mentioned about the Martians part of uh, Illuminati. Yeah, one of the videos. And I was like, yeah, I never really thought about that. That's probably true. Yeah, if she was more and more, not to say I go through member and a member or anything like that. But anyway. anyway, before I started this, I kind of showed up on its own. So, anyway. Uh, so, we'll go into that. Energy is kind of low. Kind of rebuilding my vibration. So, it should be all right. So, it's a little bit different. Well, we'll be back on par, maybe. Eventually. Now, yeah, I'm doing the park stuff. I'm going to start. So I'm doing some creative work on this side. That will eventually find its way here. And so I'm work. Oh, yeah, it was the, the picture book. That's going to take a little bit, obviously. I have a couple more I'm going to add to it, I think. Um, of course, I have to size the images and this is that, and that and this. So far, it seems to be going pretty decent. Should be decently, I don't know. Gonna have to add an ISBN to it and everything. So uh, we'll see. So should be uh, should be interesting. Should be funny. It's I have a couple of, a couple I'm adding to. I haven't made everything known here of what's going to be in it. So there are some surprises. I'll probably. I don't know. I have a couple of surprises. Yeah, so. Anyway, I'll probably make all those known eventually because I don't want everything to be in the book. So, you know, and not be public. So, anyway, I'll dive first into that eventually. Uh, oh, yeah, the parks. I was going to, yeah, see, I've been going to Disney. I'm probably going to close that out. I think I'm going to keep Universal going. What was that that pricey Disney and the eyes? Like when I was out there, I was like, I was going to like, okay, I need to kill some time. I don't feel like looking at my computer anymore. I was like, I lose my mind. So it's like, I feel I was going to Disney. I was like, oh, I feel ill. I feel ill. It's like, ugh. I guess the CIA doesn't want me to be there, <laughs> and it really does feel like they don't want me there. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, if you think FBI, FBI, CIA are not there, they are, especially when, I mean, it has kids there, obviously, so, and they're there to catch predators, too, so, but that's not what it's all about. <laughs> There's other stuff involved with it, obviously, so, obviously, they're not going to make that known, so, it seems like, you know, Disney is the main target, and I'm just got, man, I just got such a weird feeling about it, but it's just, ugh. I got kind of a message that's like stay away from the place. It doesn't feel I don't have any energy for it anyway, so um so yeah, I might I'm probably gonna still go out there here and there, but I'm gonna try and do a channeling. Like I was gonna try to do it yesterday, but something different. And it does change the vibration. You go to another location, it does change things around. So you get something not always. But yeah, I've been going through a shift recently. And uh, anyway, you will see that here. Here and there. I think I have some cartoons. I'll, I'll post. I wasn't thinking about posting some because I have some new ones. 
I'll hold off on that for tomorrow. So anyway, anyway, uh, yeah, if you're aware of the the camo dudes and uh, Area Fifty One, yeah, I might do some more gags about them. Maybe I did one. I got another one. I might do a couple more. It's fine. So I might do a couple more. We'll see. <laughs> anyway, uh, da, da, da. as for okay, anything else on the horizon? So yeah, I'm not sure how many much more I'm gonna do the walking channelings. I mean, universal. I'm gonna keep going, but it's gonna be sporadic as it already is. It's not like it's that important. Um, so things are, things change. Well, stuff we're going to go there at least and other places when our feeling's right. Yeah, I felt Miami recently, so I don't know what that was about. Yeah, it just sort of came out of nowhere. So, uh, not now, but maybe in the future, we'll see. That's a long haul and just. Yeah, long haul. Okay. So, we'll see. For those that are new to all this, I do my little ad in the beginning or the end. Uh, this is ivanteller.com. I go here because this is where the meat of everything is, private sessions. Uh, it's 30 minutes, uh, one hour, hour and a half. Uh, you can see my full schedule. I'm pretty open this week, as far as I know. And gift cards you have, you can give to others. Uh, there's other ways of purchase. Google Hangout, Skype, Zoom, and session by phone. Uh, also have uh, five minute questions. Basically, you just put in your question. I usually give you five minute audio. It also has a transcript. There's a additional methods of going about it. And also, you can join the webinar. And I have this new system. I'm not sure if everyone's in love with it, but I also have an alternative one that seems to be the most popular still, even if it doesn't work. But it works, but if you can log in with success, that is a miracle right there. <laughs> you know, and the guy I sent the guy three emails and still have not received anything about because when you create an account, you know, to do the monthly webinar, you can't really log in all that well. I mean, you, you can't get into the secure site. If you can, that is great, but it's very bizarre. It's very odd. So anyway, maybe it's helping me in secret. I don't know about it. Maybe it's the astral help I'm getting. Anyways, we have uh, iTunes and iPhone and Android phone for uh, to know what's going on. Uh, we have audio on uh, somewhere, uh, SoundCloud. Also have T-shirts. Uh, oh yeah, and social and the spirit social. We're gonna go there in a second. I don't have my all my cartoons. I don't have any cartoons on here yet, but we'll see. I have Facebook. I kind of update that and Twitter, which I don't do anything with. So feel free to go to that. We have spirit social. I'm in teller services. Submit a question. Past life regression healing. Message from Yeshua. Five minute healing and channel consulting. Social connections, one question from a day. Chakra healing from a, a day. Soul pain from Stephanie and Angelic Reiki from a go. So this is what keeps the keeps the keeps the lights on, keeps uh, content going. I don't like calling it content, but let's call it content. Then it was also a donate page if you like to donate, whatever you like. You know, just to keep the show on the air i'll keep it on the air anyway but uh definitely trying to s spice things up well i do it by messages and connections and weirdness basically i don't go to many locations I go to theme parks because that seems to be where i'm needed if i go to a park i mean it's good it seems like it's there's a reason for the parks not for Disney though. Disney's not feeling well at all. Jeez. What are they doing over there? Gosh. 
Boom possessions. Gosh, sake, I don't know if I want to step on property. It just feels so just. Ugh. Must be a deal with the astral and a uh, deal with CIA and astral or something like that. Probably. So anyway, enough about that. Sending light and love to everyone. Understanding of the universe and our place here. There's a lot of strangeness here that we're not fully aware of, but we are kind of understanding it here and there. So should you have talk show hosts that are on uh, late night, they're attacking Trump, which does not help our vibration at all, which we will eventually, that will change eventually, but just one thing, uh, and a lot of that, obviously, is manipulations done by several beings, not just the beings, but us also, I think we're, we're you know, or at least our elite, energy is yeah our controllers of course it does seem like some of our i mean you know we have to sell out as our woman already has of course i connect to another energy that's a little bit higher vibration than the lower vibrations but the ones that are lower are it does seem like they do get ets to come to us and cause stuff with us do see some of that. So, all right, we'll go into all right, the Martian stuff just showed up. So, I don't know what this is about. So, I'm going to leave it open. Basically, just do a conscious channel. I don't have enough energy for uh, Well, let's see what happens. Mostly via conscious channeling because I don't think I have enough energy to do the other, the other route. So, I don't worry. Uh, let's see here. Let's see, uh, Martians been involved with us for millions of years. Uh, they've taken a lot of us, abduct us to Mars. Good luck on researching that one. Uh, but anyway, or at least physically. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it does seem like they have manipulated much of the diamond mines, the diamonds on our planet to go like a false worth, a self-worth, but also a false paradigm of what they're worth and what they can do here. Um, it does seem like also the Martians, you're very much involved in evolution, from what it seems. I guess we have some Martian in our DNA, some do. Uh, to go off that a little bit, um, for those that are called what attractive on our planet? Like it's human attractive. Um, some of them have like high percentage of Palladian, or let's see, attraction of how do I word this? Certain attractions to certain people. Like you have like wow that person's like okay Kim Kardashian for example. Okay, I don't want to get into that, but for example, I'm not tapping into that. <laughs> I don't want to get the bird flu or whatever she's got. Um, but it's like a high percentage of Syria. I don't know what she's got, but like Syrian or Pleiadian, which forms the looks, helps with attraction. This. So basically, if you're connected to like, um, I want to say insectoids. You might be, or Martian for that matter, you might not be the most attractive person, you know. I think that's been said other places, but that kind of hit me before this started. Um, like some like supermodels, that's probably better than Kim Kardashian. What am I thinking? Going there? Am I going there? I'm staying away from that. That's like a, it's like a Illuminati caged creature. <laughs> And they're kind of signed, they signed up for that. That was their deal. Um, I mean, I don't think they're all bad, not at all. It's just, they sign a, I don't think they're bad. I don't think they're bad. I mean, whatever, they're business people. Oh, it's the Kardashians. But uh, it does seem like they signed their souls away in some regard, it seems. At least that's what I'm picking up. Not entirely, not fully, but, you know, you want you want your, uh, your, your money and all that. Of course, you're going to get a lot of the dark side of it, but also like a, 
a social pin pinata pinata it's the same it's also here to set the agendas for people well yeah, her karma is going to be too good by doing that but she, she knows what kim kardashian knows what she's doing it seems like you know she knows she's getting a super good life if you want, however you want to word that where the hell am i talking about this about but anyway um anyway this is gossip core anyway um it does seem like she's going to get some karma for her uh, life, from what I'm seeing. Um, some stuff just this in it. Not good karma either. It's like, okay, you have this super rich life, you get all this whatever, but then you're going to, I wish she's going to also have another incarnation here. Uh, yeah, it does seem like that. Not sure when, but uh, yeah, to have a more simpler life. And none of that, not to say that's part of the karma, but to get, you know, because right now she's like a princess in some regard, at least social princess. Doesn't seem like she's going to come back here eventually, from what I'm feeling. But the act, exact opposite, she might come back here as a man for some people. I think she's a man now, but I think she's going to come incognito uh, to warn the lessons that she's not learning here. So she does seem like she's uh, closing off. What the hell am I talking about this? <laughs> well, yeah, because I saw something on YouTube about alien races, and I saw this like Canadian-looking girl, and that's what kind of started on the side. But thank you. Yeah, sorry for wasting your time. Okay, bye. Okay. Yeah, one second, it's real quick here. One second. Drink break. Okay. Uh, let's see here. What do we got? Obviously, Martian energy has been here for thousands of years. It does seem like they did what you call your Illuminati here. I tricked many of them into a false idealism. Like we get manipulated, so do they. So don't think that they're all wonderful and everything. They got no, not at all. They're all they're all kicking each other's ass. There's different types of levels of it, and of course you have the highest level that doesn't really care, but it's going to do what they have to do to keep us going. It's like if I manipulate this guy, that person, this that guy, and it goes down the line of manipulations, and it comes back to us somehow. And I think uh, for some reason why I connected to that, I saw Exxon Oil. So, so Exxon is connected to Rockefeller. Of course, there's a lot of companies I can't keep track of all of them. Uh, and obviously, a lot of this with, with oil, they're trying to, you know, remove the resources here. But obviously, there's a lot of alien sources here to bring more positivity here. Uh, the Martian energies do seem to be, all right, I'm just going whatever it comes to, uh, manipulating the queen. Um, they're not really connected to the queen's um, DNA. I know it's part of the woman out of energies, but it does like seem like the Martians are a little bit different from what I'm gathering. Um, and it's manipulating the queen. Basically, they're like an outside source. It's It's like... Okay, you have your queen, she's connected to whatever, the elite system. But it does seem like there's, there's a elite system that's outside of that. I know that sounds very strange, but maybe not. Um, that we're not aware of. Uh, but then again, what do we know? We know whatever. Anyway. It does seem like there's a, a system outside that can manipulate her and get away with it, too. Um, Bring stuff in that, you know, usually you're controlled and you do this and that and that's the end of it. I do what my boss is telling me. But see why like there's outside sources that are kind of screwing around. It does seem also, well, example, such as what happened to Diana. It's like, okay, they're going to wipe her out. The outside source would come in and say, okay, you're going to do that. We'll just give the public more information about it or whatever, you know, to expose you guys for doing what you just did you know what i mean stuff like that so they don't seem you know they don't seem to be i'm not sure it feels very martian there so 
they're not part of the elite system. They are, but they're outside of it somehow. And they, they feel like they're superior. And about the ones I've been talking to. I think I'm going higher than that. I don't know how I'm talking to half the time, but either way. <coughs> it doesn't seem to matter. What matters is the information. I can be talking to Kermit the Frog. It doesn't really matter. What matters is what's coming through and healing humanity, healing, finding itself. Um, you know, it's not going to hurt anybody. It was a big deal. And that's the, pretty much what that's about. But this, yeah, the wheat scent energy that I pick up usually. I think it was last night or the other night, whatever it was. It seems like it is above whatever. It's not, you know, it's like our puppet masters, but it's not out to be bad. It's here to set up our world. It's just setting us up. It's like the elite dimension I went to. It's just, you know, making sure we have enough milk at the store or stuff like that. You know, they're part of a system that we do not see. To keep keep the keep the theater production going that we're living, so it's quite. I can't connect connect. I mean, yeah, obviously you have spirit world and all that involved with it too, but you have some that are a little bit lower than that that do a lot of the little vibrational stuff or whatever it is. So, you know, those in spirit can't. You know, it's just the engineers or whatever you want to call them. Anyway, it's interesting. So. Um, Let's see, uh, where else we're we gonna go with this? Oh yeah, somebody commented about 9-11 and connected uh, reptilians, but yeah, never mentioned anything about 9-11. I mean, there's plenty of things around here I haven't really mentioned of terrorist acts. Uh, oh yeah, that uh, where did that happen? That was in the news recently. That person I was driving their car, I think it was Virginia, that was terrible. Yeah, that's, I mean, of course you can add well, I think it did happen. I like what Jones sometimes says. Um, Jeez. Please stand down. Anyway. Just anger, reptilian manipulations. It's not always just reptilian. Of course, there's other beings involved, but just yeah, the person that did it just had pure anger. Just, just tired of it all from what it seems. Seems like is querying karma and receiving karma at the same time. It's like, um, like he was like, because he was driving, so he was kind of sacrificing himself, kind of like suicide in some ways. Uh, but that did not happen. So send your energy, send your positive energies for it for, for the victims. It's just, you don't need those things anywhere. I mean, I know we're here to learn from this stuff, but still, <sighs> hostility is just not going. Yeah, it's hard anyway. It's just, anyway. Um, to go back into, oh, uh, uh, yeah, that was a lot of alien manipulations. Uh, he already had the intent in there; they just kind of pushed it. Uh, but also, humanity pushes it too because of his anger. So, you want to blame just the aliens? <laughs> think again. They're part of the recipe. Yeah, they're not exactly helping the world vibrational ones, of course. But remember, we're doing a lot of this stuff ourselves also. So with our anger mixed with the alien anger, you can say manipulation, this adds to a charge. So it's mostly, it's still us. So I could put it this way, if uh, like a protest, well, but, but, well, a peaceful protest, oh, and no process of test at all. Okay, let's remove that. Um, uh, the energy around this person that causes this, that drove, that drove the car, basically we had more positive influences around him. The media, less anger. These things will not happen. Uh, but there's so much poison in the air to cause fury. It's like you don't know what to do, but to act. And they do stuff like that. So the news is not there to help. It is there to cause, is there to talk about problems and cause them. <laughs> That's exactly, it's just a propaganda machine. And it's like, oh, but we're just here to report. But yet you're also causing it too. And some other radio hosts, not to go names, because they have a lot of anger in their tone. 
get people angry also and it causes violence also. So like, uh, what was it? Alex Jones or CNN was talking about Alex Jones, how he was bringing anger to people. But yeah, CNN and other ones do the same thing. It's like, it's just a propaganda machine that just pushing people over the edge. And we'll learn eventually. It's going to be a while. So, uh, so it does seem like it just, with this guy that caused it, it was this one thing after the other. It was like one, one check box after the other, and it just couldn't take it anymore. Others might see a whole bit of other picture of it. That's fine. But just, it just, um, part of it was just feel like it didn't have anything to lose. Just like somewhat. I think it's like I'm feeling at this time, just doesn't care anymore. So, just, Almost like dead inside, in some cases. Just, it's just the, the reality of the world. It's just, you know, it can cause mass effect. Sure. Okay. But send blessings to that. Jeez. All right. Um, as for, let's see, nine eleven. Also, there you see the Martians say they brought a lot of light to it where there is darkness. As for um, certain situations being diverted, this isn't exactly an, a negative. Um, there are negative Martians that are in your Illuminati cabal, yes. Um, Rockefeller, Rothschild, you name them, they are involved with it. They're, they're not aware of it. That's right, I forgot that was on. Um, and those that are uh, the Martians are usually very technology ran they're very there's not a fix things whatever computers hackers whatever within these elite groups at least if they don't do it they have keen eye to it AI etc these are very Martians not just Zeta obviously you have a lot of races here um, and to go to them um, just make your hair fall out so um, they seem to be very technical, at least in the technology, and, uh, but the Martian energies, at least the positive. Mm, oh, wait, they're going to go into why it happened. Uh, they want to put their fear of life into man. Uh, it was a woman out of to take over uh, America to put it into more of a slave a slave state. It does it with its planes, but it was going to go much further than that. I think I already talked about this in the past. Yeah. Uh, was, oh yeah, here we go. Uh, I don't think I mentioned this before. Uh, okay, who was involved? Uh, Saudis, yes, but obviously it was more cabal energies that was not uh, presence. Basically, here's something out of a movie, but uh, it does seem like it was a black magician that was like, it's like we need to pray to our God, something like that. And doing so, you know, that's why that event, because it happened on a certain day, certain time, it had a lot of spiritual connections. Okay, Google, shut down. Do that anymore. I forgot that was on. Anyway, um, I know I'm seeing like a, a black magician. I know it sounds funny. It sounds like anyway, it's not funny, but uh, that orchestrated it through the elite systems. Of course, they're going to use minions involved. Uh, obviously, the Bush family is involved. Seeing how the now understand. This was years in the making. So it's like the Bush the Bush clan, you now they're here to orchestrate it. Um, obviously there's a family's uh, tri triadical commission by I don't know how to pronounce that for anything, but Jimmy Carter's involved with it. 
they're much involved with this. Bilderberg, not so much. I mean, obviously, members involved. Seems like the Triadical Commission, <clears throat> at least the one that I'm aware of. Uh, Clover Rome, not so much. There's probably others, but that commission. I need to learn how to spell, pronounce that. But anyway. Yeah, this seems to be much, pretty much involved with that. Obviously, there's others, Bowman and Crow Grove, in some regard, also. But it seems like that was the main, the main place where it was born. I understand. I'm just going by what I'm picking up here. Uh, go like on, yeah, doing a paper trail on that. Oh, it's not be visit me tonight. I'll let you know. Um, also, yeah, I understand. This is a long time in the making, and. Obviously, they're going to put Bush as their was their man. The Bush family is our part of the satanic group, and they uh, they sold themselves out in a way where they can't get out. You no, know, they can't leave. They can't. And George W. was their. Um, they agree. He's like destined to do it to be in that position, from what it seems. That's what I'm getting. Take whatever you want with that. Um, let's see here. When I see years, I'm not getting a clear indication of how long. Seems like 10 years for 9 11. That's what it seems like. And that, that number does kind of makes sense when you think about it so uh they're very patient i mean it could have been 20 years i'll see i'm mostly 10. i understand they were going to do this let's see it happened on so that'd be what 1991 1993 they had something happen there uh but that was a test that was the test run uh, obviously, they needed some more firepower than that, so they won their lesson on that one. Uh, but with 2000, uh, around 2000, they're really orchestrating everything. 2001, it's estimated 2000, they're really, I mean, they were doing it before that, of course, but I'm talking about the towers were being orchestrated. It seems like around 2000, they're starting to set, some, set everything up. Uh, 2001, maybe the others have said they saw people come in and out, but this, I'm feeling 2000 where everything was set up for the towers. That's for what happened to them, as their implosion and all that. It feels like it's 2000. So, um, you know, Building 7 wasn't supposed to go down. They just decided to take it down. That was a last minute thing. And that's why it felt, yeah, it crashed because it was already prepared too. Um, from what it seems, but just in case, but I think it was the last minute. They didn't care. It's just like, we're going to do this. Um, I believe it was supposed to be full martial law on America. That did not happen, luckily. Uh, yeah, I think that, uh, there was supposed to be like that'll happen, and then several events later on. Maybe not as big, some thought it might be bigger. For me, it, it felt that it was going to be smaller to cause martial law. One after the other. So people are connected to that are right, but it didn't work out. And just, well, that's the alien races are involved, and there was a war going on. Uh, 2008 happened with the financial collapse that was orchestrated. You can say that was kind of like Plan B. Obviously, they had other plans, but Plan B was a financial attack. And that was, um, let's see. That was done through Bilderberg. I do feel that it was orchestrated. It was, it was like, okay, we have all these other things. Nothing's working out for us. It's like, we're trying this, it's not working. So why don't we just give them through their, through the money so we can get more rich and take over stuff. And take, I think they did a lot of it just so they can take over certain companies. Also companies become very vulnerable. They put their money and take over. I think I had a lot to do it also. I, did, I think it did. 2008 went a little bit further than they thought it was going to go. I believe, they thought they were going to be able to control it, and it, it kind of got out of hand. Now, why it wasn't prevented, I believe there are certain things there that just cannot prevent, like to stop it from happening. It's like 
I don't think the, you know, what was going on, you know, the positive energies, I don't, I don't think they saw it coming until it was too late. And this is years before it happened. Uh, once it, once it was already in place, it was kind of hard to remove it. Um, it's like, I know it sounds weird. It's like they didn't, from what I'm feeling, they did not see it fully until it was already, it was, so it was already done. I know it sounds like, what are you talking about? But that's what I'm getting. Um, Cause they all have their positive workings it is, you know, there are certain situations where like you have a positive Illuminati and you have the negative and they're kind of fighting among each other. Like Alex Jones says that the positive is not very organized. I think they are organized. It's just that they're getting manipulated and attacked. It's like they don't think that whoa. And the, the negative, yes, my camera got weird. The negative, I hit it everywhere. It's like they'll hit you and blow whatever. You know, they'll come at you with anything. And so that causes, you know, if that makes any sense. So they're going to take you down no matter what. And so like you're getting attacked by this and it's kind of hard to prepare for stuff you can't think of. Not always. It's like, you have a mind that's like demonic and a lot of them aren't. So it's hard to see everything. So it does seem like now I'm getting a feeling of this. It does seem like they're busy over here dealing with this and the left hand, at least the lower vibrations are causing this. It's like, you know, that's what it feels like. So here we're doing this over here, climate, whatever it is, or child trafficking, whatever it is. And they go and screw around with the how of course the housing thing's been going on for some time. But it does seem like it got a lot worse. I think there's a peak where it got worse and it was it was welcomed for sure. But it does seem like it was orchestrated from what I'm feeling. Because the, the banks allowed this stuff to be happening. With uh, I think money being loaned out to people with no money at all, no, they're not going to pay it back. They don't care because they need to work on the numbers. The economy was crap after 9 11. It got better in some cases, but it didn't do as much about getting this anyway. So, anyway, um, so yeah, not, yeah, 2008, but waking up a lot of people woke me up. So, you know, it had its purpose, obviously. It's like, you know, if it's going to be a negative, we're going to bring a positive to it. So this seems to be a part of it also. That's the same with 9-11 and everything. When 9-11 woke up, woke up a lot of people also. So, so yeah, it's, anyway, it's the way it is. Um, it's a ritual. And those that were affected by it did, were aware, at least spiritually were aware. I know it's hard. That's a tough one, but we're always aware of what is going to happen before it happens. Just the way it goes. Um, let's see here. I'm not sure if I brought too much into this. Uh, my energies are kind of low tonight. So, um, all right, we're going to go into the future instead. we we'll the Martians. I think that was enough for right now. I don't know it wasn't much, but. That was the actually a direction I really wasn't expecting. So um, anyway, that's that's it for right now. I'm no, sorry, but anyway, just my energy has not been great today. It wasn't great yesterday. So anyway, that's way down. Yeah, way down. So um, let's see here. As for the future. As I like what I mentioned yesterday about the vibrations. Uh, we're going to kind of go into that a little bit more. Let's see here. That's more of Pleiadian energy, Arcturian. Mm. Yes, you will see your, obviously, you will see your hospitals change dramatically. As more of the healing abilities will be welcomed, Do like what you saw with Yeshua. We can, you know, the Reiki energies will go into hospitals. There will be a time when, yeah, Reiki will be allowed into your mainstream hospital. Uh, it will find its way in. It's, it's just, it'll be asked for, welcomed. It'll be controversial at first, but that is your vision of ascension. 
Uh, psychics also for healing those, you know, healers in general, but also for um, connecting to guides and things of that sort. I believe will open up eventually. Yeah, there'll be a intuitive on staff, maybe four or five of them, um, little by little. Uh, for those that are passing over, or you know, someone did cross over, you want to talk to somebody. I mean, those type of things I think will become more known. As for when, that's up to humanity. Um, cars will be a lot different, obviously. Uh, it does seem like we will go in eventually into hover conversion cars, but not too far off the ground, but off the ground. Like, it won't fly, but it does seem like hovering will become a thing eventually, like you see in Star Wars, a little hover car. Just when hover cars will eventually find us well here, it's going to be a while, but uh, yeah, the tire industry is going to love that. But it does seem also the car itself, um, I think, will run on water, on some kind of recyclable water. Uh, that's already been out already, but anyway, they'll find, I'm seeing water right now. Um, yeah, it's, re it's the hover car thing. Of course, that's expensive. I believe the prices will go down eventually. I think the technology is kind of there already, at least publicly, sort of there already, but not fully ready for public consumption. I believe that will be one of the next directions. I mean, who saw driver driverless cars? Who saw that? So, um, so I think I see cars with no to no tires eventually. What the purpose of that is? That would go into the more driverless car. Will become more automated on its own. But um, safety, uh, I'm not sure how that, I don't know. I might get a full indication of it. And I am seeing, like what you might have seen on minor, Minority Report, cars driving up. But they have a type of surface where they can drive up, like, uh, you know, through a building. I, don't, I know it sounds very bizarre, but anyway. Um, I think it was in Batman Forever, but that's true. But anyway. Um, I am seeing that, so that's, I'm not sure what the purpose of all that is, but a highway in the sky, you can say, um, but not what we might think, so. Anyway. Uh, kind of like what you see in the Jetsons, not quite there, but we will have that eventually in some form. We are heading, as a prediction, not exactly, but we are going in that direction. We are going through a global well, not yet, but we will work. Not yet, but we will go through. As our spiritual directions change, our technologies will obviously drastically change also with us. Uh, but it takes time. A lot of people have to let go of their negativity first. Um, but also, though, it will be brought into our environment where just possibilities. It's like, this is the new you. Like, if you might even see what I'm seeing is like a feature of the, a movie about the future. And you're kind of like seeing a, a movie about yourself in the future. It's, you can say it's like predictive programming, but also it's a prediction of helping manifest this future. So it will find itself here eventually. As for when is it's up to us. It's just, um, uh, it says some of the cities will be rebuilt, but not as we think. Um, through the ascension, many will be gutted, but it's, you know, little by little things will happen. Basically, you'll see cities of the future slowly erupt. You're kind of already seeing it a little bit, not sure where, but it does seem like it's already going on in certain cases. Um, prototypes of new cities are being, but cities of more nature involved, involvement, so... And a lot of that is spiritual connections. This is going to be some time. Of course, the money involved with it and everything. Don't worry, they have enough money. They'll find it. Um, let's see. Um, yeah, we'll eventually see a world where, like what you see in fiction with the laser gun stuff, that will definitely become more. We're not. We're not ready. You know, we're not ready to remove ourselves from that. But the bullet. The bullet will eventually go away. It'll be more like laser, like laser stuff. It just 
it's it's already there, but it's not mass reduced because I think it's too expensive still and too dangerous. Like if you have one in heat or something, it'll probably blow up or something like that. But this is my technology for like stun type of razor, you know, guns, stuff like that. Like I think we already have a does it like it like science fiction. It'll become more cheaper. Um, we're not ready to remove from weapons yet, as you can see. Um, I am seeing like I've seen this before. Um, like you shoot a gun and a a cage appears. That's like way in the future, but we got we got a while for that. But it does seem like a laser technology will improve itself. Maybe five to ten years. As for handheld, um, the, we're going to eventually leave the bullets eventually. Um, we're not fully ready for that. Uh, it does seem like it's going to find its way here eventually. It's it's in the works. A lot of, a lot of changes are on the way. Right now, it seems. Not to say that's an important one, but it does seem like certain like police stations will start to try it. We're going to we're going to eventually go into that world. We just it's inevitable. Um, uh, also, houses with yeah solar energy. Uh, there's going to be other technologies eventually that's a lot more healthier in solar energy. But right now, they're going to do that. Their experiment is way down the line. But there'll be technologies that will be able to absorb the sun, but also send more positive back. The solar is not so much doing that. But it's going to be like 100 years for that. So it's going to be totally different in solar, a different type of solar technology where it's not. Solar doesn't seem like it's doing as good as it should. I don't, I don't, I don't think it absor it's absorbing a lot, but not this is absorb more and be better for the environment. So, um, anything like recent? Well, um, let's see here. Okay, well, here's another one from the future. Uh, like when someone, uh, like you're about to have a baby or in the baby phase, uh, more, it become more known of like telepathically connecting to the baby, they become more of a, of a thing. I understand, like I said, this is all, that's going to become more uh, of a thing in the future, definitely. You're talking to the baby, you're going through the processes, and then, you know, um, you know I've been let you know about health effects and things of that sort also, uh, about what to change in diet and all that. It comes through the baby alone, so uh, that's in the future also. Uh, it can happen now. Um but become mainstream. Hospitals are going to go to a huge change. Maybe, maybe 300 years from now. Maybe sooner, but yeah, see how things are. Yeah. Um, it does seem like the hospital is going to be, it's going to be like a, more like a healing chamber than a hospital. It'll be like, and be just more positive around it. More just right now, it's like a prison. Same as school. Schools are like a prison also. Schools are going to be. That's going to be a while for that because it's just there's so much so much low vibrations for schools right now. So I have to find light is. It's almost impossible. Not impossible. It's almost impossible because of low vibrations. So, I have no clear time for that. Uh, as for where that's going, uh, well, I'll leave that with you because most can feel, you already know it can be improved there, like everything, uh, violence, peer pressure, just everything. The whole thing needs to be gutted. That's yeah, a joke. Uh, less government involvement, or at least more of a community involvement than government. Uh, those that basically have the children there can make the rules, basically, instead of the other way around. So... Well, at least what's best for everybody. Anyway, it's going to be some time. Schools are just... Anyway. All right. Uh, that's all I have the energy for today. I know. I kind of went further than I thought I was going to go, actually. So, hopefully this is a, a help in some regard. Uh, let's see here. That's all I have. I'm going to shut down. Okay.
All right, much love, everyone. Take care and uh, have a great week.